This episode is brought to you by 100% Pure New Zealand. New Zealand's unique spirit is defined by a connection between land and people. Discover Nelson Tasman, an enchanting region of artisans and natural beauty. Experience the town of Kaikoura's abundant sea life and culinary delights. Then transport yourself to the Bay of Plenty, home to geothermal features and rich Māori culture. New Zealand is now open to US travellers. Visit NewZealand.com to learn more. These are the Chronicles of Dominic Carter on 77 WABC. Released at City Hall just hours ago, the first of its kind Immigrant Research and Performing Arts Center is coming to the Inwood section of Manhattan. And uh, Mayor Adams made the announcement it will be owned and operated by the People's Theater Project. And joining me right now is Mino Laura, the executive director of the People's Theater Project. Thank you so much for appearing. Thank you so much for having me. Thrilled to be here tonight. Okay, so explain this to me. The mayor and his administration made the announcement a few hours ago that your organization has been selected to own and operate this new Immigrant Research and Performing Arts Center in Inwood. Tell me about it. So, yes, this was the city put out an RFP years ago. Uh, This was before COVID and you know, this is something that Upper Manhattan, you know, there's no theater or cultural center above Harlem. And this has been something that the community in, in Washington Heights, in Inwood, has been fighting for for decades. And, you know, we've been part of that advocacy. You know, we need a space that is, you know, for immigrants. Upper Manhattan is an immigrant community. I am a Dominican immigrant. Um, but it's been so many different immigrant communities have lived in Upper Manhattan. Um, and we need a place to celebrate that. And after an arduous, long process, uh, a few months ago, we, we had heard the news. We were told, and it was so exciting. And then today, it's become official. And it's just, you know, really overwhelming with joy and, um, you know, the responsibility for, for being the caretaker of this space. Because it will be for the programs of People's Theater Project. We've been in the community for 14 years. But it will be really a center for the community or local organizations. So it's my understanding the city is putting up uh, $15 million to make this project happen. Is that accurate? That is accurate. Together with this award, $15 million comes from the city, from EDC. Um, And we hope it's just the beginning. You know, we will take more to build it, but this is an unbelievable support that really puts us in a strong place as we start working towards construction. (laughs) So did I hear you correctly that you said uh, above Harlem there there's no performing arts center? Is that correct? That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. a community that is so broad and diverse and above Harlem, there is no theater. And so we've been performing in restaurants and bars and libraries and had to leave the community. Anybody who wants to perform has to leave the community to go to the Bronx, um, to go downtown and and, you know, it's far overdue, and you know we're thrilled that it's happening. 